Welcome back. This is Good Morning Kenya. Thank you for keeping it, KBC. If you've just joined us, it's always a pleasure having you joining us each and every uh, Thursday. It, it is all about matters entertainment. So this morning, uh, remember, we are live on our website, www.kbc.co.ke forward slash KBC hyphen live. That is the website. We are live. Just go to our website, www.kbc.co.ke. We are live on the website. And remember, you can also be part of this conversation that you are about to have on our SMS line that I will give in a bit and our social media platforms. But this morning, we are talking about matters the rites of passage. What does it entail? We'll be talking about this even as we uh, focus on the awareness that is there. Are uh, we as Kenyans really aware about how important it can be for some communities? Remember, not every community has a right of passage that is equal or similar to, to another. It, it's not the same in all communities in the country. Some do it differently in terms of the rights of passage. If you go to the Luya community, it is different from, you know, the Luo community is different from Kuyu community. What are these rights of passage that are there? Well, to help us further understand about this and much more in this discussion, I'm joined to my extreme left by Patrick Gaduma, the national uh, chair of Kiama Kiama. Karibu sana, Patrick. Good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, thank you for finding time to join us. Kiyama Kiyama inajulikana sana upale kikuyuni? Yes. Mm. Karibu it sana. is a cultural uh, association mm -hmm. and is a tradition. Wow. It's a practice mm -hmm. for the Agekuyo community. Thank you. And uh, next to me is uh, Major John Sei. Uh, he is the chairman Emer emeritus uh, Kalenjin Council of Elders and also the deputy chairman of the National Council of Elders. National, national. Karibu sana. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, emeritus uh, na National Council of Elders, ni kama unafanya vizuri. Ni mwana umekuja na fimbo? Kusama kweli, hii fimbo siwezi kuachana nayo. Yeah. Because he ni status ya mze uh, kwa kimila zetu. Mm -hmm. Mze warika yangu hawezi kutembea bila kitu kwa mkono. Hawezi kutembea? Hawezi. La lazima hawe na kitu? Lazima hawe na kitu. Tuanyabea uze inanza mtuwa kwa rika yangu waneza weba vitu kama hii. <laughs> Karibu. Ita <laughs> kueleza. You can be part of this conversation. Remember, the SMS line is on at the top of your screen. 20154 is the number. Start with what channel one. Tell us your name and where you are watching us from. On our social media platforms, it is at KBC Television. Tag me at Ramagiko, my colleague's handle, at Jane Wambui. They remember, the hashtag is good morning. Kenya. Keep tweeting keep texting. This conversation is quite interesting. You don't want to miss you don't want to, be, uh, to, to miss to be part of this. Um, Mze, rites of passage. Yeah, we talk about circumcision and we talk about so many things. Do you think uh, as Kenyans we are aware about how important it is for us as a country because we are African, we, are, we have our own culture? Kwa wakati kama hu um watu wamechukulia right of passage kama just an event mm -hmm. ni kitu ambayo inafanyika wakati fulani hasa wakati wa holidays wa december wengine ni mwezi wa nane, kadhalika lakini right of passage vile ilivyokuwa zamani mm. was a process that was well defined clearly marked na walikuwa na agenda a right of passage ilikuwa transition from boyhood to manhood. Mm. Na kwa hiyo transition kulikuwa kwa mafundisho ya kipekee so that ukishavuka hiyo uwe mtu mzima so to speak eh, na utakuwa umepelekwa through a process mm -hmm. eh, a teaching process value eh, empowerment na vitu kama hizo. And um, for those do, who may, may not understand it is important ni muhimu kwa you know, kwa mila. Kwa kimila bila mm. hiyo mm. then you cannot transit from boyhood to manhood na haijalishi kijana ni wa miaka ngapi kama hajapitia hiyo then he still a boy hata kama ni 25 years hata kama ni 30 hata kama ni 30 bado wewe ni, ni, ni kwa kikale nyingine tunasema ngeta ngetai na kwa wakikuyu na, na wanasema kehe kehe yes kehe. so yeah. it doesn't matter unless you upite hiyo mm -hmm. then you remain just you know uh, uh, mtoto it is a crucial moment it's a crucial moment yeah, I, do, do we embrace it a real transformational moment especially for the boy child mm. and it is so serious 
that you cannot get even a wife yeah. without going through without going through that mm. uh, right of passage mm. without having the cut no family will give you you their girl mm. but different families have different rights of passages yes but for D different communities if you come from the the gekoyo community mm. you cannot get a wife from the gekoyo community if you have not gone through that it's a real changeover it has a lot of meaning during ah. that period of uh, transition mm -hmm. you are trained you are taught a lot of things on how to face life at what age is someone supposed to go through that right yeah. in the in the Gikui community uh, and then you tell us in the uh, in the Kalenjin mm -hmm. pier yeah. yes mm -hmm. now it looks like it's at age of 14 that uh, es especially after uh, the children are through with the, the primary education mm -hmm. That is, if you do eight years and six years, looks like 14. Mm. But before then, uh, when we didn't have the formal education, at that time it was about 18 to 20 years. Mm -hmm. Because it was about how strong you are, mm -hmm. are you firm? Whether you can withhold that pain. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, you realize during those days, people used to stay in their setups, in their clans in their communities. And these young men, after the right, they were the ones who were entrusted with guarding the families, mm -hmm. guarding their clans, mm -hmm. guarding their communities, mm -hmm. even watering uh, sources, even the pastures, the livestock, everything. Mm -hmm. So it was a very, it is a serious uh, period mm -hmm. for the families, for the clans and for the community. So you cannot be able to be able to do some activities without going through that. You period. cannot marriage. You will not be trusted even in terms of secrets. Mm -hmm. Even secrets. Yes. They they say you are still a boy. You cannot you are keep a boy. It. <laughs> yeah. You cannot even go to steal with him. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep a secret. By the way, we didn't yes. call it uh, stealing. It was it was going to yes. to, to to capture. You can't bring home the yeah. cows. The cows. You, you cannot be home. trusted. You cannot be trusted. You cannot be trusted. You cannot be trusted. Because you're still a boy. Yeah. 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 In, in the calendar, <laughs> not age. Is it well, the same as the moral? Is the same because um, as soon as uh, they they went through the rite of passage, as um, my colleague has said, they were entrusted with the care and the protection of the of the community. They, they were the warriors, they were the protectors, they were the, the ones who go and, and bring, and they were the ones who protect, that is, that is in, the, in, the, in, the, in the community, in mm -hmm. the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, because the process was so meticulous, mm -hmm. the process was so, the, 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 the imparting of knowledge, the instructions that were given, were so clear and well, well, well thought such that when this young man comes out of uh, seclusion, he is totally transformed, as he put it earlier. It is transformation period where you are trusted with a word. When you are told something, you no longer payuka payuka uh, and you know, tell the story. You no longer play with the boys uh, who have not been circumcised. Mm -hmm. You no longer stay around your mom. You no longer, uh, you know, you, you mature and you take care of the cows, you take care of the fence. If it is broken, Muse Anasema, I have a man in the house. Mm -hmm. and he will take care of yeah. the home. Like that, that. That, that's also very important mm -hmm. because by the time you are going through that process, you are taken by the men, the elders. You are under the care. The elders were the ones who are determining the times when that uh, rite of passage is going to be undertaken, mm -hmm. who are going to do it. So you are taken over by the men. Now, now um, the, the reason as to why we still have this being a challenge in some communities, yet it's going on, on well in others, is because of lack of awareness. Um, some don't understand how it is. And um, I'm aware of the fact that things are developing. And uh, the generations that uh, used to embrace these cultural beliefs, Zakitambo, are not the ones that we are having right now. Because now we have the generation that is technologically, uh, you know, uh, well aware. And uh, the question that I would like to pose to you, do, do you think we are, you know, how can we be self-aware of who we are? Mm -hmm. How can we know who we are, our background, our history, our heritage? Uh, 
it is a very important one mm. but uh, i think culture does not really change much that this is what we believe because for us by the time a child is being born he or she is given a, a name mm -hmm. so if this child is from the kikuyu community he will be called wamboi wanjiro kamau joroge mm -hmm. so is there any change the more things look like they are changing the more they remain the same okay yeah. so regardless of uh, of so this I, young yes. generation that you have now have embraced the culture that was oh, there yes it ha it to an extent there are some changes here and there to an extent but when we come to the little things like the light of passage mm. you see like long before yeah uh, women used to undergo the same but now we are doing it differently we are not doing the cut for the women mm -hmm. yeah that is under uh, the world health, health organization uh, the un chapter we are aware of all these things mm -hmm. And again, when we also we come to the other communities, even those who were not doing it, now under the same World Health Organi Organization, the cut is going on as a health measure. So for the men. For the men. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that people may be out of their rural setup. They may be even in the urban setup. But for us, we retain that cultural aspect. Mm -hmm. I've told you you cannot get a, a, a wife. Mm -hmm. You can never. Regardless whether you are in the rural area or you are in the, in, in the urban center. Mm -hmm. When you go to ask for a girl, yeah, the, the families will keep on asking. And even for us, how we know it, even if you went, we, we go to a short call, you and we, we, we learn a few things. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> together. together. Yes. Because, because you are, you're with men. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm glad I'm a man. Well, coming to you. <laughs> we, are we are talking about self-aware. How can we be self-aware and know who we are and our background? Well, I, what I, I just want to enrich this yes. uh, by uh, saying that... Um, Patrick here as a Kikuyu and mm. me here as a Kalenjin. Uh, the two communities have a long-standing history that uh, the cultural values that are imparted on these young men going through rite of passage are uh, more or less the same. Because at one time in the history of migration of the two communities, mm -hmm. they met somewhere. They and were together uh, at some point. They were together somewhere near Mount Kenya. Mm. And uh, even the Kikuyu community, they have three um, age sets which are similar to the Kalenjin. Mm -hmm. And uh, even the head that handles the entire ceremony of, of the rite of passage, we call in Kalenjin Motirio, mm -hmm. and Kikuyu's call is Motiri. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it is not, it's not Kupatisha um, Kwamba Lucas Ilikongana Maliflani. People yeah. met somewhere. Even uh, I'm uh, uh, looking at the, the, the formulation of the family. Yes, yes. exactly. The, the Kikuyus it, it, and the Kalenjis seem similar. They, they are the same. How we they are, call the family set up. Ethnically, yeah. well, the, the Kikuyus are Bantus, we are Nilots, but um, uh, there are things that march together. And these are the, 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 the common values that we hold that we should emphasize so that we, we are, realize that we are one and the same people. This importance of the rite of passage. Um, as uh, we have said earlier, mm -hmm. is to, to, to come up with an age set that has gone through the people who can be trusted, they can keep secrets, they can, uh, uh, they can marry, and they can also go for marriage. Of course, when uh, a man, young man, goes, uh, looks for a girl, of course he will not be asked, are you through the, the right of passing? <laughs> you cannot even start the journey uh -huh. if you have not gone through that. So uh, the, the idea here is uh, uh, to know that this rite of passage is so crucial and we want to emphasize here that um, the modernity that we're going through is just a question of facing the, 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 the dynamics of the day. But the values that are there never change. The trust, mm -hmm. the commitment, the, the, the respect, and all that goes with it is never changed. We may change the setup. We used to go to the bush, very far away from anybody. But today, because of the dynamics that are there, they're very close to us, but we still want to maintain the image, the dignity, the respect of the process.
Um, you know, as, as you talk about this, you know, the, topic, the, the, the idea of gender and sexuality comes into play. Uh, we had the census, and uh, this time around we had different groups yeah. that were added, mm -hmm. intersex, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the, the question of LGBT came, uh, comes into play here. And uh, how, how do we, you know, relate with our brothers, our sons, and our daughters, and our sisters? Because someone may wonder, why am I of a different gender? And uh, how do you, what do you do to deal with these kind of scenarios? Because some may want to change their gender and uh, they may want to, you know, be different from the way they are in terms of their sexual orientation. How do you handle that? I think uh, right from the, the beginning, mm. God had a reason yeah. for whatever creation he, he made. Those people, the, the males and the females, God had a reason. Mm -hmm. And even from the beginning, they had very different roles. Mm -hmm. the, the women had their own roles, and the men had have their own roles. Mm -hmm. If you look at the, the Bible part of it, it talks about provision. Mm -hmm. If you talk for a man, for the male man, if you come to the communities like where I come from, the Gekuyu, it is the same in terms of the man is a provider. And the women are there to take care of the, the man and the children. So I believe, right from the beginning, we were made for certain laws. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this, this, this thing here about intersex, mm -hmm. I think this thing is coming more with the science. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not in the culture. It is not in the culture. And uh, I think... Uh, me, I have just realized it is there when I saw a read the code, Sijui Andrew, and I, I didn't know it, it existed. <laughs> yeah? You're, you're, so they, 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 they did, could they have... shock you? Yes, I was shocked. Mm -hmm. Of course, I've gone to school, yes. Mm. But uh, maybe those who existed were hidden within the families. Within, yeah. Kama mzee ukisia mambo kama haya unafikiria vipi? Kuna kuna wale ambao pia wanataka wageuke wasikue wanawake, wao wanaume, wengine wasikue wanaume wao wanawake. They want to change their gender. Na kama wazee, yeah. nakwambia hii ni kitu ya kutisha. Na ni kitu ambacho sisi kama wazee when we look at the whole thing, yeah. uh, tunakubali kwamba things have changed. And uh, it is for us also elders to get together address this issue and see how we can respond to these needs at such a time as this. Mm. We cannot rubbish it away and we cannot uh, just simply embrace it. Sisi kama waze kuna haja ya kukutana pamoja tuangalie this problem alafu nasi pia from the cultural perspective and looking at it from the modern standpoint sisi wazee tunaweza kusema kitu kwa sababu tunakubali kwamba something has gone wrong somewhere because when, you, when you, you know you must up, meet them they, in the they, middle they, there was never a thing like that na kama vile mwenzangu amesema maybe they were there and they were hidden but um, even if they were hidden mm. in my language we say it doesn't matter how you hide Mm. The pregnancy will, al will always show at the end. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> how do you say it in your language exactly? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In my, um, we say in my language, yeah. in other words, mm -hmm. you feature, you know, chemuge is a, a female thing, eh? mm -hmm. a female name. So, na sema ulifija. Chemuge, lakini haiwezi kufichika. Haiwezi fichika. So it was, it, it was not there in the, in the it past. Was, if it was, it was there, hidden. If, it was if, it was there if it was there, maybe even the parents walimaliza maisha ya huyo. Because if it was there, katika uh, growth yetu, tungeambio kwamba unajua fulani, unajua fulani, unajua fulani, lakini we never had. Vile mzee amesema, hata mimi nilishtuka nikasema, where are we going? Yeah. Na dunia inalekea wapi. But you know, these things are natural things, huh? Um, for someone to be, you know, to be born yeah. that way. And uh, here we talk about intersex, and we talk about, uh, you know, someone who has maybe different gender. Uh, the, that confusion comes in. But how do you, how do you meet them in the middle? Nimesema hivi, what we need to do, mzee kama huyu na mimi na wazee wenzetu, 
Yeah. Mahali popote walipo. This new realization. Yeah, yeah, new realization. Yeah. Tukutani pamoja. The, these na, are emerging yes, issues. Imagine, kabisa emerging issues. Mm. So that we discuss together na kusema, how do we address this matter? Because, because it's very important. If they were there, mm. as we are saying, yeah. you know, um, during birth, mm. and especially at the, those uh, old times where hospitals were very okay. few, mm -hmm. A lot of things were, a lot of deliveries were done by the, the, the home uh, midwives. So, and a lot, there, there used to be a lot of deaths during those times. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, a lot of families may have even thought it is a curse. So uh, mm -hmm. a few things could have been happening so at that So many things are sleeping away yeah, about the Could have been happening at mm -hmm. that particular time, mm -hmm. yeah, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. You, you see, if uh, a family is, is seen to be having such kind of things, even in terms of relationships, even in terms of their girls and their boys getting married elsewhere. You see, I have said, we used to, people used to say in clans. Yeah. And uh, even um, where those uh, young men were guarding the, 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 the clan, they were also guarding their girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You who are, could who are within that. Yes, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. couldn't just come from any other clan and you, you penetrate. The girls were guarded. So, um, what you're saying is, it could have been there, but it could have been, a few things could have been going on. So, uh, you, maybe it was difficult to get even people to marry from that families, if such kind of things mm. were there. Mm -hmm. So those families could have been doing their own things. But we, we need to have a national dialogue. Well, now this is it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because a child is born in hospital, you cannot just uh, eliminate that, that child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. We are under the new world order. So we deal with them as they emerge. Mm -hmm. You are in the council, National Council of Elders. Yes. I, 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 I'm also I, a found, I, me, founder member with him. You're, you're also a founder yes, member? Yes, this is a man, it's an elder. We've, been known, uh, we've known each other for over 10 years. 10 years? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? We've handled the, 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 the worst crisis that uh, there was in this country. So many, you, you've handled so many cases. Yes, we have been now, together. Now, you, you, you talked about um, the, the, the Kikuyu culture, the challenging culture, having similarities. Mm -hmm. And uh, you mentioned there that at some point you met Hapu Katikati mm -hmm. and there are some things you share mm -hmm. that are similar. But now um, there's this question, are, are our neighbors our people? And uh, uh, because you have so many cultures that are there, um, how do we relate with one another, regardless of us having different cultures? Because in Kenya, we have so many uh, communities. How do we relate with each other? Are our neighbors our people? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. are our people, do, do they also belong to our neighbors? Now, Ram, you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm. As uh, both of us are um, members of the National Council of Elders, mm -hmm. this uh, National Council of Elders brings all elders from every community in this country. And there, were, there was a time when we wanted to hear from each other. Uh, what values do we hold dear? And if, if a Borana, for example, from northern Kenya mentions something, we will say, wow, that is also the way we value, the way we practice. There may be variation in practice, but mm -hmm. the values are the same, whether they are Luyas, they are Luos, even if the issue of Luos, oh, they don't do this, or Turkanas, but mm -hmm. when it comes to value system, mm -hmm. It is we, the value we, that matters. It's yes. the value that matters at the end. If it is respect for the elderly, respect for women, respect for girls, respect for the handicapped, respect for the elderly, no tribe will say when you get old, then you are taken to the, to the gate of the cow shed and then the cows are let loose and they trample on you. That's what they used to do centuries ago. But today, we are taking care of our elders, taking care of our mothers. During the uh, post-election violence, mm. uh, surprising enough, and I come from Rift Valley, and he does, we come from the same region together, which was really volatile. Mm. People fought, they killed each other, they burned houses, they killed the livestock. Tribalism was it, at its peak. I, I'm telling you, it was the worst thing. Mm. And why we, we stick with this muse? It's because we went through thick and thin, telling together. our people, we are Kenyans, we have common 
history, mm -hmm. as far as being here in Kenya is concerned. We have cultural values that are together. Um, and, 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 and so when you appeal to the question of value concerning culture, people begin to say, hey, now that is something new or that is something very important. When it comes to values, Ram, yeah. there is nothing that goes beyond that. It is the apex of the values that brings us together. So the entire community, whether they are Somalis or Samburus or Turkanas, we have common values that hold us together. Uh, let, let me tell you, Ram, in 2007, 2008, let me be specific, in 2008, there was a red journalist from the rural community. She went to cover those crashes in the midst of the Karinjit people, and she was held hostage. Imagine I and other elders went to rescue that lady from the Karinjit, the warriors, and they said, no, this is the old man we trust. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. man we trust. Mm -hmm. Mm. They gave us, yes. That, that respect. That yes. respect. Yeah. Old mm. man we trust. Mm -hmm. They gave us the lady. I wish she's, she's, she's watch, watching this. Mm -hmm. Even uh, today, uh, I think uh, I, I know her. I don't know whether she's still with the NTV. Mm. But now that is what the trust is. People trust you as an elder. We are all Kenyans. We share a lot of things. Mm -hmm. We started asking ourselves questions. We are farmers growing maize and wheat. Where do we sell this? We are buying with e within each other. Mm -hmm. There's a pastoralist uh, rearing animals. We buy meat from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so we, we do a lot of business together. As, uh, as, Kenyans, as a people, as Kenyans. We can relate with each other. Yes. yes. In peace. Very well. Yes. Very well. And embrace one another because we have things that connect us. Mm -hmm. We have more benefits. Together. Together. I love what you're saying there. I love what you're saying there. Remember, One Nation, um, uh, there the, 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 the are pathetic songs that have been sung. Mm, 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 Daima mm. Mimi in Kenya. <laughs> Monanji yeah. Mzalendo. I wish we could sing that song many times. That's uh -huh. a, come a national anthem, so mm -hmm. to speak, mm -hmm. that brings us together. Mm -hmm. Those patriotic songs, mm -hmm. which really KBC championed, mm -hmm. I wish we could replay, even Some if of them. not stage mm -hmm. afresh, mm -hmm. but replay them. I'm looking at the responsibilities and obligations of someone because uh, there is uh, this um, mind that is there. Uh, I don't know if I, if I term it as a mind or this is, the, is this the culture that when a child is born, that child belongs to the community. community. Um, so w how do we embrace this? kind of notion because we have the, 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 the child who has uh, a, a sense of be belonging in the community. Now the question is now what will be the role of this child in this community because now we are talking about our neighbors are now our people. Uh, my simple answer is when you own a car, the car is yours when you are wearing it. Yeah. The car is yours mm -hmm. when it goes to the garage. Yeah. Yeah. But when you are carrying the passengers, the car is not yours. That is how the child is. When you're carrying the passengers? Yes. It's not yours? It's not yours. It carries everyone. It's for everyone? It's for everyone. Okay. The child belongs to everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You rear the child. You take care of that child. The community also assists you. Take a bit of the care for the child. This child goes to school, becomes a doctor or a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Is he your lawyer? Is uh, for the community. It's for the community. <laughs> Is he your doctor? When you are school, you serve. the community. You serve the community. You serve the human being. That is it. So it is, is all our responsibility. And that is why the right of passage is very important. Mm -hmm. Because you want to develop a very responsible person. Mm -hmm. That is our calling. Mm -hmm. Developing a, a strong, and responsible ethical, person. Mm -hmm. responsible person. You take on this. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in the old days, mm -hmm. a child really belongs to the community. Yeah. Um, and the, the, it was the duty of the, the neighbors, the relatives, to bring up this child. Your responsibility was to conceive and, and, and deliver 
and nurture in those very early days, as soon as the child begins to know this is my father, and that is my uncle, and that is so and so, that is when the community takes over. This is a practice, and a very valuable practice that we have lost. And as elders, we are saying we need to restore that so that the child knows that he belongs to the community, not to that particular family alone. I'm looking at a case scenario where we have mothers who give birth mm. and they throw away these children. So many kids have been found in pit latrines and we talk about a child belonging to the community. It is the saddest thing that you can even imagine. And we appeal and say, if a lady is expectant and delivers a baby, it does not matter the difficulties she's going through or the environment she's living in. We're just saying, may God give you the courage to carry on with that baby until it's delivered. And when the baby is delivered, take care of that baby and not throw it away. It is a curse mm -hmm. of the highest order to dispose of a human being that God has given life. Because it's not in our it culture. Is, it is not in our culture. It never happened. But let me say this. Mm. The culture also accepted termination of life under certain circumstances. Today, we know that even in hospital, yeah. uh, there are times when is it the mother or the baby? Mm. And uh, they can determine that, okay, in order to save the life of the mother, terminate the life of the child. So th there were also those conditions in our culture, particularly the Kalenjin. There were occasions that gave the authority mm. to say, okay, you can terminate that life, even when the life has been born. And that's a, a discussion of another day. Mm -hmm. That is a, a practice that was there. Today we say no to it. It used to be. Regardless but it, of the circumstances today? Today, regardless of the circumstances, life is life. I think as we grow up as a people, as a community, as a nation, mm -hmm. we, we, we begin to cherish new values. And because we are um, uh, uh, a Judeo-Christian uh, uh, community in general, uh, we, we, we take care of those values which the Bible actually uh, espouses. And so we, we live by it. And by the way, uh, those even those Ten Commandments in the Bible and don't do this and this and the other. You go to the Kui community, go to the Kalenjin community, they are there. They are there. It's, no, it's nothing new. They were not brought by a Muzungu. When the Muzungu came, the only thing he failed to do was to recognize and to realize that these people have got values. And they are their own culture. And, they are, and, and belief systems. And belief system. And those things, w today when you look at it seriously, mm. it supports what the Bible says. Or the Bible supports what we say. Yes. So the two work together. Yes, Gaduma. Yes, I wanted to have, uh, uh, to add on to that. Mm -hmm. And in the traditional setup, in most co communities, there used to be a granary for travelers. A granary mm -hmm. for travelers. A granary for the less fortunate people. Mm -hmm. So you were no, never to go hungry. Mm -hmm. You just pass, and it used to be well placed. It is where the community puts in oh, yes. everything. Other even within the, the family. Yes. They are, even within the family, there was a granary for that. In the setup, the real setup, we used to know five people this way, north, south, east, west, you know five people. So by the time a, 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 a mother is expectant, you know this mother is expect expectant. Mm. So you start taking care of that mother. So I think now, these are the issues now we are saying, they are emerging issues. But we need to go back. We need to be a community that gives. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You, you, you see, you look at uh, the Asians and the Muslims. You still enjoy those good aspects. You pass by, they give you something. We are asking also our people to have that caring heart. You, 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 even these uh, young women and the women who are doing that, just give her a job. Give her 300 shillings. Give her 500 bob. You know, there's this mine yes. that was there. Um, yeah. Atakama ni muizi, ni muizi wetu. Because yeah. Yeah? this yeah. is our person. Yes. And uh, looking at the positive side mm. of it is that we have embraced this person as our own. Mm. 
But now I'm looking at it on the flip side because I'm I'm seeing a case where nowadays you have a mom who will tell someone who's chapter to wangu. You know, back in the day, mm -hmm. say you can mm -hmm. you, you, you can tell us if a child does something wrong, it is the responsibility of anyone in that community to discipline that child. But nowadays it is different. Why are you touching my child? Ni mtoto wangu. Kama ni mwizi, ni mwizi wangu. Kama ni mbaya, ni mbaya kwangu. Ram, you have touched the very, the, uh, one of the central area of issues concerning the upbringing of the children. Mm -hmm. We were brought up by the community. And I think we need to remind or re-educate the modern, so modern generation that the child actually does not belong to you. The child belongs to the community. I think urbanization is one of the things we have failed to know how to manage the, 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 the living together mm. in, a, in, a, in an estate, in, a, in, a, in an environment where there are so many people of different ethnic groups. We need to restore that value where mtu muzima, ukiona mtoto, anatoka shule, anachesa barabarani, it is your responsibility kumambia mtoto elekea nyumbani. Mm -hmm. Na ukiona mtoto anafanya kosa fulani, usiseme tu, ho. Na we say that today because ya hiyo chicho kubwa sana ya mzazi. The minute you touch that child, mzazi anakuja kwa kwa anasema who, you ni, who, who, who authorizes you to do that. We want to dismantle that mentality of the child is mine. We want to restore that old a tested uh, practice that child belongs to the community. So that in a Nairobi setup, Eldoret, Nakuru, wherever, mm -hmm. we will feel that ata kama mtoto ni ya muturkane, ya mukisi, ya nani, mm -hmm. ni mtoto wetu. Na huyu mtoto, akianza kuwa mwizi, hawezi kutafuta nyumba ya fulani. Ana, mm -hmm. Anywhere he goes, hajalishi ni nyumba ya nani, whether ni he, ya kabila yake. He, he will steal from the community. He will steal from the community. So therefore, we need to help this child, all of us, mm -hmm. na kusema huyu mtoto wetu. Wazazi, they need to really uh, loosen their tight grip on the mentality that the child belongs to you. The child belongs, belongs to, the to the community. community. Because Akiba, an idea of community. community. Yes. So if it is discipline, it should it's be for discipline the good of the from community. the community. For the good of the community. Exactly. What do you think, uh, think about that, Gatuma? When we have, uh, nowadays, even children, on the other hand, yeah. have made appeals in court, challenging their parents, nowadays, it is happening. No, 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 check out. <laughs> it is happening. It is tragic. Gatuma. Yeah, this is uh, what we are calling emerging issues. Mm. Because the culture that was there, the culture that we grow in, we were trained to look for our own wealth. Asset yako, weji taftie. Wachana na ya mungine, wachana na ya mze, wakati mze anataka kukugawia, atakugawia. But now, people have stopped uh, uh, working. People are idling and, raising, and they are raising the, in the centers waiting for their fathers to die. Unfortunately, the fathers, the, 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 the young men are dying before. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. But some and that, that is not even uh, biblical and is not what we wish. We have had cases in the past of people yeah. who even, uh, you know, kill their parents because mm -hmm. of wealth, yes. in inheritance, yes. so land, public, yeah. uh, public land. We are telling private people land. to go back to that setup of mm -hmm. being uh, responsible. It doesn't matter how much uh, you have. I'm more comfortable in my pro box that I have worked for, rather than in a Range Rover mm -hmm. that I have not worked for. I don't want to inherit something that will bring me, uh, uh, they will not bring blessings to, to, to something me. Something will bring curses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, let us uh, address our young boys and our young uh, girls, our youth. Let us train them. Mm -hmm. to be responsible. Um, Let them work for what they enjoy. Mm -hmm. Mambo ya sponsors. Yeah? It's, it's not in our culture. It's not in our culture. It's not our culture. It's not our culture. I had, well, a, cool, I had a singer say sponsor ni Yesu. Wacha mtu wa kule mandazi, lakini ni madazi yake. Kuliko ukule ile kuku, ambayo utailipa, pengine kwa garama. I agree with you, mzee. 
I agree with you totally. Um, but this, uh, I know we can really talk and talk and talk, but uh, time. Muda umetupa kisoko kidogo. Nataka tumarija, I will only ask two uh, final questions um, uh, before we why bring this discussion to a close. Remember, you should be part of this conversation. Uh, when it comes to the rights of passage, back to the I I I initial discussion on circumcision, okay. yeah. we have so many communities that are nowadays trying to embrace it. Yeah. Um, we, if, as, for example, in the, in the Luo community, we have this church, Nomia Church. Mm -hmm. Uh, that has been, you know, advocating for uh, circumcision. And uh, the Archbishop, I remember, was speaking and he was saying that, yes, we should circumcise our boys because not only is it uh, good for them uh, in, in terms of them looking mm. like, mm. you know, they have gone through yes. the stage of being a man, but mm. also health-wise, it helps them. Mm. Uh, do you feel like, as a nation, we should embrace this. Are we really moving towards that direction of embracing this right as a passage? Not just as a passage, but also health-wise, something that will benefit the individual's health as a man. Yes. Thank you. Uh, um, I think there, there, there are two aspects to it. Mm. There's the aspect of the actual circumcision where the cut takes place. Mm -hmm. And that can be done by anybody, anytime, any place. There's no problem there, and that is why even the, the, the communities that never circumcised have actually adopted. Mm -hmm. I think what is important, uh, especially for us who have done it generations, it is not really the cut that is important. Mm -hmm. The cut is part of the process. It is the, the imparting of the information, the value system, mm -hmm. the, the changing the mindset of this young man to say, I am now an adult. I am now a, a person who has gone through this passage. You can keep secrets. You can keep. Uh, you can be trusted. You can uh, be 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 relied upon. Uh, it, it is the teaching that goes with it. So, if these other communities who never practiced go through the cut and at the same time impart values mm -hmm. to these initiates, then we embrace it. That is the, the right way to go. This is the time the young men are listening. They have time to listen. You know, wakati akuna shida, maskio yao, the antennas are tuned somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But when they are in seclusion, wako kulindani, they are agonizing over pain. Mm -hmm. The ears, they, 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 will, they, they tune. They will listen. They, oh, they will listen. Nasimama. The antenna you are listening <laughs> is at the highest. So that is the time you impart in, uh, values. Mm -hmm. And those values imparted under those circumstances, they never depart from that child. It, is not, it is not about the cut. It it's, is about, about it's about the values you that, that, that you incorporate, that incorporate in the that, process of the cut. Exactly. Well, uh, I'm a believer of also science. So there is uh, research findings mm -hmm. that say that uh, those men who have not uh, gone through the cut are more prone to cancer. Mm -hmm. So with that, but that's a research by the, 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 the scientists, the doctors, mm -hmm. and the World Health Organization have put it as one measure that uh, will prevent the skin cancer to the male uh, at that point of organ. So I think it's also important. And also, as he says, that pain, that pain is very important for a man. I, I, I know women go through pain several times, but the man should also undergo that pain at that particular time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, a uh, final question, and uh, this is the, the, the very last thing. Uh, I don't want to finish this discussion without finding out about this thing. Ulisema ni nani anafaa shikilie ikitu? Kutoka umbrigani? My father belongs to the generation ya minor. Yani even the Kikuyus, they have the minor, father, Louis. The age set. Yeah, age set. The age set. And when I grew up, my father told me, when you grow up, never walk without a stick. Now, this is not a stick. This is, the Kikuyus have a similar name for this, although it's not this Sipakora. Mudegi. 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 Yes. I have mine. You have yours. Akunayo. And in Kalenjin, we call it Nokirwa. Now, that is the stick that you carry during the ceremony of any kind, 
because mm -hmm. even in war mm -hmm. kama mzee ako na nogirwa na mama ako na ile belt yake ya ya kauri shades na akiweka hapo mbele namna hii mm -hmm. na kusema do not pass beyond this upiti hupiti hata ikiwa namna gani lakini kwa umri wangu eh, because to 70 plus mm -hmm. uh, it is important for the Kalenjin community for mze atembe na mkwacho ama kijiti ama fimbo ya aina fulani sikuwezi kuna vijana wadogo pia wanaanza kutembea na mkwaju they can walk because mkwacho you can buy it from the shop it is a commodity so kama nataka kujionyesha kwamba hako na fimbo wacha mm. anunue lakini for mm. me when i carry it mm. it's not so that people can see Mm -hmm. But it will not have the same wisdom. Yes, I know wisdom. Ikijana yeah. anachukua tu naye haina wisdom. And it will have doesn't share the same respect. Yes. These are different but, things. But, but but naturally, yes. mkwaju kama huyu okay, um uh, who should hold it? Uh, because uh, yeah. Mtu anasema can a young man say that now I'm qualified to have a mkwaju? No, you cannot say I am. Mm. It the, the society the process qualifies you without even saying nimefika umri wa miaka 45 wa miaka 50 are you using it for pride mm -hmm. yes. those are the questions yeah mm -hmm. those, those who hold it sometimes they use it as a symbol of pride yes it's not a symbol of pride mm -hmm. it's a symbol of wisdom mm -hmm. yes. it's a symbol that you can tell people oh come to a halt and they'll come to a halt yeah And, okay. and, and you know, uh, when I use this fimbo, I don't hold it here because mm. when you do it that way, mm. it means you are ready to fight. <laughs> from here, from, from, from this, here, from, from this here, end. or even from this no, end, like no, this, no, no, like no. this. Yeah. If no. you hold it like this, if mm. you see somebody carrying a fimbo like this, na mm. anashika hapo, mm. fimbo. This fimbo is not for for hitting anybody or for fighting. Mm. You hold it like this, just like this. Okay. Ini fimbo ya heshima, iko na wisdom yake, and if I hold it up. Na kusema ime tosha. Na msichana amekubaliwa kushika fimbo kama. Ah, ah. That is why nilimwambia msichana wetu is good you did not touch it otherwise by the time tunaondoka hapo kwa studio yeah. tungeuliza mbusi. <laughs> <laughs> na mwanaume kijana kama mimi nimekubaliwa kushika. Nitakuruhusu nitakwambia uniletee hiyo fimbo na okay. utaleta. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's all about embracing culture ladies and gentlemen i think i believe you've learned personally i have learned a lot Thank when it comes to this you know i remember the, in the olden days we used to sit around in fa, in fa, uh, the fireplace yes. mm, kukana waze and i think on good morning kenya today this has been our own fireplace tumekiti na waze wako tupatia mawaidha na shukuru sana i was uh, with mze john seri uh, say the chairman of emeritus uh, kalenjin uh, council of, uh, of elders and uh, the deputy chairman of national council of elders thank you very much mze asante kima and to my extreme left patrick aduma national chair kiama 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 ina maana nini yeah you are elders who rely on the truth on the truth and telling the truth and nothing but the truth nothing but the truth yeah i have so many questions and you not be We... uh, you not be swayed mm. to go out of that by receiving small tokens no I, I, I have so many things that I can ask because also with, with regards to Kofi Ambaya Neva, what it means, but <laughs> we have to stop with that point. <laughs> Thank you very much. We should have this conversation f uh, frequently. Absolutely. Keep texting, keep tweeting. The SMS line is 20154. Start with our channel one. Tell us your name and where are you watching us from. On Twitter, the social media platforms are on at the bottom of your screen. Tag me at Ram Aguko. My colleague's handle at Jane Wambui. The official station handle is at KBC Television. The hashtag. It's good morning, Kenya. Keep tweeting, keep testing. It is Entertainment Thursday. We are taking a short break. We'll be back in a bit. But keep it KBC Channel 1. This is Good Morning, Kenya. My name is Ram Aguko. <laughs>